growth are in the Word of God 23 times. The internet says it is a small wooded orchard or a group of trees. Two of the symbols of these bushes and stands. We can look at the stand as a totem pole. Internet says a pole on which the totems are hung or on which the image of the totem are carved. Totems is a natural object or an animal behavior by a particular society to have the spiritual significance and adopted by it in an emblem. Emblem is a historic device or symbolic object as a detective badge or a nation's organization, family, organization, and organized body of people with particular purpose, especially a business society, association, etc. Symbols companies form corporations and institutions, group, agency, society, just a few. I put all the definitions so you can see it is the government that has a totem pole, and they are not just in America. Let's look at the spiritual significance. On this, did you know America had a band? One of the songs is a horse with no name. We also call it a phallus. I look up many words in my study, and words I think there is no way they could put something symbolic. I see they did. God made his people particular. But ye are chosen generation, a royal priesthood, and holy nation, a particular people, that ye should show forth the praise of him who hath called you out of darkness into this marvelous light, which in time past were not a people, but are now the people of God, which had not obtained mercy, but now have obtained mercy. We should not have anything to do with the world's way. Take heed to thyself, lest thou make a covenant with the inhabitants of the land, whether thou goest, lest it be a snare in the midst of thee, that ye shall destroy their altars, break their images, and cut down their groves. For thou shalt worship no other gods, for the Lord, whose name is Jealous, is a jealous God. Least thou make a covenant with the inhabitants of the land, and they go a whoring after their gods, and do sacrifice unto their gods. And one called thee, and thou eat of his sacrifice, and thou take of their daughters unto thy sons, and thy daughters go a whoring after their gods, and make thy sons go a whoring after their gods. In verse 13, we say they are supposed to destroy their altars, images, and groves. How was it supposed to happen? But thus shall ye deal with them. Ye shall destroy their altars, and break down their images, and cut down their groves, and burn their graven images with fire. Poles in the word of God is pillars also. Ye shall utterly destroy all the places wherein the nations which you shall possess serve their gods, upon the high mountains, upon the hills, and under every green tree. And ye shall overthrow their altars, and break their pillars, and burn their groves with fire, and ye shall hew down the graven image of their god, and destroy the name of them out of that place. You see, all nations, no matter where we go, they will be there, as we see today. They did not do it. The children of Israel did evil in the sight of the Lord, and forgot the Lord their God, and served Balaam and the groves. Just like today, we have forgotten the Lord with Israel, not doing what Creator God told them, that He would chastise them, and He will us. For the Lord shall smite Israel as a reed is shaken in the water, and he shall root up Israel out of his good land, which he gave to their fathers, and shall scatter them beyond the rivers, because they have made their growth, provoking the Lord to anger. Just like him, he was a prophet, and they came after him. Now, as you can see, they're coming after you and me. And Ahab called Obadiah, which was the governor of his house. Now, Obadiah feared the Lord greatly. For it was so, when Jezebel cut off the prophets of the Lord, that Obadiah took a hundred prophets 
and hid them by fifties in a cave, and hid them with bread and water. In the strong, Jezebel is the wife of King Ahab. The de definition on the internet is the queen of Israel. We have one big queen today, and she says she is from David. That is Queen Elizabeth. Israel served them in secret. And the children of Israel did secretly those things that were not right against the Lord their God. And they built them high places in all their cities, from the towers of the watchmen to the fenced cities. And they set them up images and groves on every high hill under every green tree. And there they burnt incense in all the high places as did the heathen whom the Lord carried away before them and brought wicked things to provoke the Lord to anger. For they served idols whereof the Lord had said to them, You shall not do this thing. Now there was a king of Judah that took down the groves. It's the second Kings 18. I will let you read that. And there was another king that did make groves in these places. And he broke in pieces the image and cut down the groves and filled their places with the bones of men. He made it a graveyard, and that's what the wrath of God going to be, another big graveyard. And Asa did that which was good and right in the eyes of the Lord his God. For he took away the altars of the strange gods and the high places and broke down the images and cut down the groves and commanded Judah to seek the Lord God of their fathers and to the law and the commandment. We need to do the same thing. Judah loved the Lord and they served God. And his heart was lifted up in the way of the Lord. Moreover, he took away the high places and groves out of Judah. After they tore down the groves, they called unto the Lord, just like we need to. Nevertheless, there are those good things found in thee, in that thou hast taken away the groves out of the land, and hast prepared thine heart to seek God. All the life of this king, they served the Lord God, and when he died, they went back to the groves. And they left the house of the Lord God, of their fathers, and served groves and idols, and wrath came upon Judah and Jerusalem. For this their trespasses. And they tore down the groves again, just like we should do. Now when all this was finished, all Israel that were present went out to the cities of Judah and broke the images in pieces and cut down the groves and threw down the high places and the altars. Out of all Judah and Benjamin and Ephraim, also Manasseh, until they had utterly destroyed them all. Then the children of Israel returned, every man to his possession and to their own city. They never learned. They went right back to it again. For he built again the high places which Hezekiah his father had broken down. And he reared up altars for Balaam and made groves and worshipped all the host of heaven and served them. As we can see, it is Balaam and the host of heaven, the Madonna, and the mother and child. No, it is not our Jesus. Did you know there is a book of the seers? Nevertheless, the people did sacrifice still unto the high places, yet unto the Lord their God only. Now the rest of the act of Manasseh and his prayer unto his God, and the words of the seers that spoke to him in the name of the Lord God of Israel, Behold, they are written in the books of the king of Israel. His prayers also, and how God was intrigued of him, and all his sin, and his trespasses, and the places wherein he built high places, and set up groves, and graven images, before he was humbled. Behold, they are written among the sayings of the seers. Most people don't know what that is, but they look into it not knowing that it is the zodiac, and it is against Creator God. This is not good. When Creator God starts gleaning, His people will see the people change. Yet gleaning grapes shall be left in it, as the shaking of an olive tree, 
two or three berries in the top of the uttermost drought, four or five in the outmost fruitful branches thereof, saith the Lord God of Israel. At that day shall a man look to his maker, and his eyes shall have respect to the Holy One of Israel. And he shall not look to the altars, the works of his hands, neither shall respect that which the stingers have made, neither the groves or the images. In that day shall his strong cities be as respect and drought, and the uttermost branches, which they left because of the children of Israel, and there shall be desolation. He will shake all nations to bring back his people to him. So why is Christ doing this? Hath he smitten him as he smit those that smote him? Or is he slain according to the slaughter of them that are slain by him? In measure... When it shooteth forth, wilt thou debate with it? He saith his rough wind in the days of the east wind. By this, therefore, shall the iniquity of Jacob be purged, and this is all the fruit to take away to his sin. When he maketh all the stones of the altar as chalk stones that are beaten in sunder, the groves and images shall not stand up. They will turn back to their Creator God. This is the mercy of God. All things is written down with pen and iron. The sin of Judah is written with a pen of iron and with the point of a diamond. It is graven upon the table of their hearts and upon the horns of their altars. Whistle their children. Remember their altars and their groves by the green trees upon the high hills. Our children today don't know the real God that gave life. God has all in control. And the raiment of Jacob shall be among the Gentiles in the midst of many people, as a lion among the beasts of the forest, as a young lion among the flock of sheep, who, if he go through, both treadeth down and treadeth in pieces, and none can deliver. Thy hand shall be left upon the adversary, and all thy enemies shall be cut off. And it shall come to pass in that day, saith the Lord, that I will cut off the horses out of the midst of thee, and I will destroy thy chariots. And I will cut off the cities of thy land, and throw down all the strongholds. And I will cut off witchcraft out of thy hand, and thou shalt have no more soothsayer. The graven images also will I cut off, and thy standing image out of the midst of thee. And thou shalt no more worship the works of thy hand, and I will pluck up thy groves out of the midst of thee. So I will destroy thy cities, and I will execute vengeance and anger and fury upon the heathen, with such as they have not heard. The wrath of God is coming because of the cross and the graven images. Are you ready for the change? Thank you for sharing your time with Jesus and me. He wants to change your stinking thinking to faith and grace. Please subscribe and like. Jesus is needed in all walks of life.